Welcome to the stretching class and for me stretching is really important to help with injury prevention and as we age and get older it's good for mobilisation and flexibility too. I'm also going to show you a bit of foam rolling because it's something I also often recommend to clients. Now the jury's still out on foam rolling and the benefits of it in the scientific world but for me I know a combination of stretching and foam rolling works so I like to share things that work with me with my clients so please feel free to give it a go. And today we're going to probably be holding stretches a bit longer than you would do at the end of a class because we've got the time. We're allocating this time to focus on our recovery, focus on the stretches and the foam rolling and just home into your body and see where the tight areas are and spend a little bit longer there if you like. Okay, things starting off, we're going to stretch one leg out, bring one foot in towards the knee and we're going to reach for our calf or our toes with both hands, wherever you're at today. Just relax them down, let the upper body become heavy, rolling through the back. Just feel for any muscle tension. And when you feel the stretch easing off, so you can reach that little bit further down the calf, the toes, the foot, Wherever you're at today, bring that head closer towards the knee and relax it here. And the final time finding the end of your stretch, using both hands to get that stretch across the back too. to the back and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So switching sides, bringing the foot in towards the knee, or reaching with both hands, calf or toes. You might find this side a little bit tighter than the other, that's completely normal. Then breathing out, see if you can reach that a little bit further. Time rolling for the back to bring the head closer to the knee. Hold in the length of the stretch. If it feels a bit much for you, just bring it back, loosen off. Then roll up to the back, taking the feet as wide as feels comfortable and crawling the fingers forward. Rolling through the back. Hold it here, or if you want to advance it, so you can drop the elbows to the floor. Let the head become heavy. If you want to advance a little bit more, taking the hands to the heels, point the toes away, and dropping that head closer to the floor. Feeling the stretch in the inner thigh. Keep holding. Just focus on your breathing. And roll up through the back, crossing the legs over. So foot in front of the knee or on top of the knee, whatever works for you. And we're just going to crawl those fingers forward again. You'll feel the stretch in the glute muscles. Option to drop the elbows to the floor if you can. Just keep on focusing on crawling those fingers forward. Melting the upper body into the ground. Then on the exhale, we're going to straighten the arms. Keep on one palm on the floor and rotate until it back. Really opening up the chest, activating that scapula. And as we breathe out, see if you can reach a little bit further behind. Only taking it as far as it feels good for you, don't force the stretch. And back to centre. Keeping your legs crossed, we're going to come behind. So you can either have the arms fully extended, pushing knees or hips down, or coming down onto the elbows. Keep pushing those knees, hips down, 
just chilling here at the bottom of the stretch. Focus on that breathing. Keep pushing the knees down. And then when you're ready, coming back up and taking it forward. Pulling those fingers forward. And we're going to do the same thing on our side. So crossing our legs again, so foot in front or on top of the knee. Make sure the slip bones are down. Crawling the fingers forward. Dropping the elbows to the floor. Release the any tension in the neck. Just let the head be heavy. one palm on the floor and then we're take, taking the other arm behind so other side this time. Might feel a little bit tighter. No problem. Then breathe out, see if we can reach a little bit further. And coming back to centre. Keeping the legs folded, we're going to take it back again. So arms extended, pushing the hips and knees down, or coming down onto your elbows. Then you might notice a difference in range here, but let's just focus on pushing the knees down, chilling out at the bottom of the stretch. Just lengthen the neck to release any tension. Pushing those knees down and coming back up and taking it forward. Drawing those hands forward again. Melting into the floor. Then rolling up through the back. Okay, unfold the legs, we're going to take the legs to 90 90 and we're going to come down in front. So that heel is just at the knee and the other leg back. Now, if it's good for you, stay here. If you want to advance it, stretch out that back leg, rotate the hips and crawl the fingers forward. Hips and shoulders square with the floor, pushing the leg out, keep crawling the fingers forward. Great whole body stretch this one. And let's just relax into the floor. And if you feel this enough, keep pushing that leg out, crawl those fingers forward a little bit more. Now you can choose to stay here or advance it by getting in a quad stretch. So grab an ankle slowly come down it might be here for you might be enough or if you want to advance it bring the head right to the floor great one for the quad hold it there and again don't push it so if here's good for you don't force it to take it any more gently release i'm going to do the same again on the other side so that 90 90 coming down in front just take a bit of time for all the muscles to lengthen before we get to the advanced option. As I said, you can either stay here or you twist those hips to the floor, back leg out, crawl the fingers forward. Feel the lengthening of the muscles. Keep pushing that leg out, crawl those fingers forward. And again, you can stay here or come up for the quad stretch. Grab an ankle. And again, this side might be a little bit tighter, so listen to your body and take it to where it feels good for you. And if that's here or down to the floor, go with what's working for you. Stretch out 
draw one for the quads. Gently release, come back up. Okay guys, we're now going to take the foot in front of the knee or over the knee. You can choose what's good for you. Cuddle that knee in towards your chest, hand down the support and rotate to look behind. So this is a great one for the glutes but also stretching out the neck. And when you feel the muscles lifting off, cuddle that knee tighter towards you. And release. Same thing, other side. Bring the foot in front or over the knee. Hand over support, cuddling that knee in and looking over. And depending on how tight your glutes are, this might be quite a strong stretch for you. And release. Okay team, we're going to come down and do some moves to stretch out your back. Again, if any of these just don't feel good for you, don't do them. Okay, come down onto your bellies. First up, what we do is take the hands out, extend them and legs out. Then we're going to grab one hand, so right hand to right ankle. And then we're going to take left hand to left ankle. And we're going to see what our back goes are like. So we're going to push the feet away to lift the chest and thighs up the floor. Hold it there, eyes just forward. And release down. Deep breath in. And we go again, pushing away to lift the thighs and the chest off the floor. And if this is not good for you, stick to doing one side. And then you can switch to the other side. Do about 30 seconds single in each. But if you're with me, keep pushing into those ankles. Lifting the chest up, lifting the thighs up, and releasing down. From here, dropping down into child's pose, big toes together, heels wide, crawling the fingers forward, releasing any tension in that lower back. Let's crawl those fingers forward. And relaxing into the ground. Let's take the right hand forward, forward and the left. Hold it there. Bring it back. Take the left hand forward, forward and the right. Hold it. Bring it back. Now we're going to spread one arm under the other. Take it under. Get the head and shoulder close to the floor as you can. If you can't quite reach a floor, not an issue. Just do what you can, don't force it. And push that arm under a little bit more to intensify the stretch. And just relax here. Come back to center. Reset and go on the other side. Same thing, other side. Head and shoulder close to the floor. Pushing the arm through. A little bit loosens off, push a little bit further. Back to centre, crawl those fingers forward again. Hold it there. And that body become heavy again. And rolling up through the back. Then we're going to come and come lie down on our backs. Just drop it forward, lie down our backs, legs out straight. And we're going to do some stretches for the back of the legs. So we're going to take the leg up to the ceiling, hands behind the knee or the thigh, whatever's good for you. We're going to bend the elbows to bring that leg a little bit closer, feeling the stretch on the back of the legs. Let's point the teal toes to the ceiling. 
And if you want to intensify the stretch, bring the head up towards the knee, tucking the elbows in. Breathe in here. And if you feel the legs start to wobble a little, take off that stretch intensity. And relax the shoulders down, and we're now going to stretch that T-band, but just taking that leg across the body. So keeping the back on the floor, just taking it across the body, pointing in those toes. Get a feel for how tight the muscles are. And back to centre, and release down. Switching legs. Okay, taking that leg up to the ceiling, point the toes. If you want to intensify it, again bring the head up towards the knee, the elbows tucked in. Now relaxing the shoulders down if you lifted them off and taking that leg across the other side of the body. Pushing the back down, feeling that stretch on my T-band. Center and release them down. Okay, heels onto the floor. Take one knee across, the, sorry, one foot across the knee, then hands behind and pull it in towards us. Another great one for the glutes. And if you're struggling to get a hold of behind your knee, you can use a towel to pull it in. And just pull a little bit closer if it starts to loosen off. and switching sides. Same thing over side. Again, a side might be a little bit tighter than the other. Pulling that knee in closer towards you. And release. Okay team, sitting back up. We're going to do one that opens up the hips. So hands are on the floor as our support, shoulders back, chest out, I'm going to take one foot across the knee again. We're going to bring the toes in towards that knee, I'm going to push this knee down. Now we're going to keep that position, chest open, and then we're going to rock side to side, just finding any niggly tight points, and when we do, oh, I've got one right there, I'm going to hold it, and then just keep that rocking motion again. Great one for opening up the hip socket. Keep pointing those toes, pushing that knee away. When you find that niggly point, hold it. Let it lengthen and stretch out. And go again. Okay, and release. Let's see what the other side is doing. You bring that foot across. If you're struggling to find your foot across here, come down onto your forearms and bring it across. Then once your flexibility gets a bit more, you can come up and do it in your hands. Okay, so we've got that knee, toes pointed, pushing the knee away, and just that rocking motion again. Finding any gnarly bits, hold it there. Keep that chest open. Just feel how it intensifies it. Hold it wherever you feel it a bit tight. When it loosens off, just get back into that little notion, exploring where the tight points are. And release. Okay, team, we're going to come onto our hip flexors. So we're going to get into kneel and lunge position. So come onto your knees. And what we're doing is a long step forward into that kneel and lunge position. Hands on the inside of the foot. Chest up, head up. Pushing those hips down towards the floor. It's a big stretch, this one. Now you can either stay here, or if it's good for you, come up tall for the chest, take the arm across the front thigh, and rotate to look behind. Sinking back down into those hips. Keep pushing the 
that Sephora. Then back to center, stretch out that front leg, point the toes close to the floor or the ceiling, wherever you feel the stretch grace, and just roll through the back. Hold it here. And if you want to intensify the stretch, bring the head close to the knee. Strong muscle group this. Then bring the knees together. Same thing on the side, that long little lunge position. Hands on the inside. Pushing those hips to the floor. Ready to get the head and chest up to provide that load. And let the muscles lengthen. Then if it's good for you, come up top of the chest. Push through that front heel for balance. And rotate to look behind. And sinking down into the hips again. Back to centre, hands down, stretching out that front leg, find this sweet spot for the toes. And remember, you can drop that hip to intensify the stretch. Hold it here. Bring the knees together, we're now going to do a bit of chest opening. We're going to take the hands behind, push them down and away, squeezing the shoulder blades together, head up to the ceiling. And you can do this on your knees or you can do it standing. Whatever works for you. Then bring the hands out in front, pushing away to separate the shoulder blades. Take the hands out to the side, then lean the shoulders, rotate as far forward as you can, hold it here, great work for the biceps, this. shoulders too, rotate all the way back and hold it. Okay, team up, you come onto your feet, standing stretches we're going to do now, so we're going to bend the back knee, front leg straight, and we reach down for the toes. And if you can, pull the toes towards you. You can only reach down to calf, not an issue. Just push those toes towards you. Rolling for that back. Pulling the toes towards, feeling that strong calf stretch. Roll up for the back, switch inside, same thing over side. Toes pointed or pulling towards you. And in that back knee, front leg straight as you can. And roll up through the back. Good team, we're going to come feet under hips. We're reaching for the floor, rolling down through the back. So for you, it might be your shins, your knees, or if you can, so you can get touch on the floor, or even better bring the palms to the floor. You might need to have a slight knee bend here. Just do what feels right for your body. Feel the stretch along the back of the legs. Hold it there. And bring the hands to the shin. Chest out, shoulders back. And then let's reach back down to the floor. Letting that head drop. Back to shins. Back to four. Back to shins. And roll up for the back. Take the feet wide as you can. Bend the knees, reaching for the floor again. Push those knees out, sitting back. Hold in that position. Feeling a stretch in the inner thigh. And if you can, take the hands behind, push them down to open up the chest. And push the outside of the feet, showing the knees around. Then coming back, lengthen 
lengthen the legs, straighten them as much as possible. Cuddling your elbows, hang in here. And you should feel that at the back of your legs. If you're not feeling that at the back of your legs, bend the knees a little bit more, or take the feet wider. Just hang in here. Then rolling up through the back. Okay team, we're going to come down and show you some full rolling moves now. Now when you do these, it's about a bit of exploration to find where the knots are and working out the knots. But I'm going to show you some of the basic movements that I do. So first up, you want to grab your foam roller. One with hard bits is better. I'm going to work all down the IT band to begin with. So what I'm going to do is line the body up in a straight line. And all we need to do is roll back and forward to find any tight spots. And when we find a tight spot, we're just going to hold it here for 10 seconds. And then when we can, just rolling over to ease that knot out. And it really is a bit of playing about with it. Now, if you've not done it before, this might be a bit intense for you. So you can pop your feet down and bend the knees to get that roll in motion. Okay, it just depends where you are. want to work it all those knots out okay the next one that I tend to do is this bit here that bit for me tends to be a bit gnarly so how do we work that one placing the foam roller down leg at an angle and we're just going to roll it back and forth finding any little tight spots Then you might have to move your body position, just play around, get a feel for it. Try not to go too fast. We have a tendency to rush things, which means you might miss a knot. There's one right there. And if it's too much for you having the pressure of the leg on, take it off. All about that exploration. Bit there for me. Okay, next up, we're going to show you the calf muscles. So, this again tends to be tight for some people, or they might not have anything in it. What I'd say, foam rolling, even if you're not feeling it in a certain place of your body, just play with it and see if you do find something. Often, with the glutes, for example, you don't feel the tightness, but when you foam roll, you discover all the knots. Okay, so for this one, calf muscle, again, never leg on top. And just having that little roll around to find any tight knots. And remember when you find them, hold it there. And then just roll it out. Keeping that control, and if this is a bit much for you lifting the body weight up, if you can do the hands down, you can still get the knots. Which is a bit less intense. And again, if that's too much for you, that foot weight off. And I mentioned the glutes, so now a key one here. So if you think we do our figure of four, so we're sitting on your foam roller, taking the foot across, and again, just roll around to find any knots. And when you feel like you've found all the knots and worked them out, switch the sides, because remember, it's a big muscle group, this. Working out any knots. And another one I like to do is the hamstrings. So just the back of the legs. Kind of relaxing on this. I don't tend to find anything too knotty. I have kind of more benefit from stretch and our sports massage on the hamstrings. Just having that feel. Just checking in. And then if we move on to the quads. Again, this one, depending on what level you're at with your body strength. What I like to do, one leg on top of the other, and almost a push-up motion, down and up. Just checking for anything. And if I do find it, again, it's holding that position. And rolling it. Now, if this is a bit much for you, you can put it down on your forearms, pack 
position and the foam roller does help because it is supporting your body weight but just having that exploration feeling for the knots oh it's tight holding it and rolling it okay guys so make sure when you're doing that you're doing it on both legs and like I say have a play around with it if you've not done it before you might find it very painful but I promise you it does get better now I want to show you one more for the feet so I've got a ball for the feet it's a hard ball because we forget how many muscles there are in the foot now if you're new to this again do it seated and just roll the ball all around and if you're somebody who gets really sore arches a really kind of tight pain in arching your foot when you're training you should do this and if you don't have a ball fill up a water ball with cold water and roll it around after you've been training now again we do this both feet but for me because i've been doing this a while i've also got a spiky ball I use i like to do it standing because i put a bit more pressure through it and i can really feel those tight spots and work through where they are and if you're somebody who likes to go on a spin bike this will do your wonders too okay team so that's your stretching and your foam rolling as i said have a play around with the foam roller and the ball as well spend a bit of time getting to know your body where the knots are where they tend to be tight points after certain types of training that you're doing and like i say i personally believe it really helps with recovery and it's what keeps me going and doing what i enjoy doing any questions drop me a note at www.revive.fitness drop me in the contacts and i'll come back to you hope you enjoyed that team